biology chapter 18 theory video 13 correlation uh, now a correlation is actually a concept that uh, we develop uh, to find out the association of two uh, species that is if uh, you know if there is uh, when you when you random uh, when you do a random sampling you might see that uh, there are two plant species that always occur together so uh, if there is we need to find out if there is a relationship there. so there are three kinds of relationships that we can uh, uh, take into account first one is actually uh, uh, the, whether there is a, a positive relationship that means when one factor is increasing the other factor will also increase now for example if the salinity increases then the abundance of a certain species increases then if there is a you know the, the, the distribution of the species and the, the abundance uh, how it relates to an abiotic or an abiotic factor is what we uh, need to uh, figure out so the abiotic factors would be exposure to light temperature soil uh, soil water content or salinity so these are using these things we can figure out using graphs to determine how they are related we can find out if there is a uh, relationship now um, uh, when uh, when there is a when there is, when all the when we draw uh, the, these details or so whatever the data uh, if we put those data into a scatter graph then we will be able to see if there is a uh, if there is a relationship and the correlation would be the strongest when uh, the all the the all the points would lie in a uh, uh, lie in a line or in a straight line we call it a perfect linear correlation uh, and a, uh, if it if it lies on a straight line then uh, the the correlation coefficient is going to be 1 so that means if the variable a increases uh, along with the variable b we call it that means if the variable if we increase if we increase the variable a the variable b also increases then that is a positive linear correlation uh, that would be shown by figure 18.30a this uh, diagram uh, so then uh, if there is no correlation so that would be this there is, a, there is no correlation when a is increased you know there is no relationship with what b uh, what happens to b but if it is an inverse uh, relationship like this then what happens is when a is increased the other one uh, b decreases so that is uh, referred to as a negative correlation that is a negative linear correlation uh, if there is a correlation coefficient of 0 then it would have uh, no uh, no correlation at all uh, we can uh, use these graphs and find out the we can calculate the correlate uh, correlation coefficient uh, to f find out uh, whether there is a linear correlation or linear relationship uh, or uh, if there is no relationship and also to find the strength of that relationship so the strength would be uh, how close these uh, these points are going to be uh, cl how how close they are going to be uh, to the lines to the straight line. Uh, there are two kinds of uh, linear uh, correlation uh, you know patterns that we identify. First one is Pearson's linear correlation. The other one is Pearman's rank correlation coefficient. So in the first one, Pearman's linear correlation coefficient is used when there is a uh, linear correlation, and also when we have uh, when we have collected quantitative data as measurements. That is uh, the uh, height, length, depth, light intensity, mass, uh, you know, uh, or the number of uh, uh, or the number of uh, uh, plant species in a quadrant so these these are quantitative details uh, so if these data is distrib distributed normally uh, we can figure out that it is a Pearson's linear correlation 
But if we have used an abundance scale as we saw earlier, uh, uh, then, uh, then we would have to use a different kind of uh, correlation pattern that would be known as Pearman's rank correlation coefficient. Uh, so then, uh, what we, here what we do is, uh, we rank the data uh, f for each variable and uh, assess the difference between the ranks, right. So the first one is Pearson's linear correlation. So that is a statistical test used to determine if there is a linear correlation between two variables that are normally distributed. Then Spearman's rank correlation, uh, that is a statistical test to determine if there is a correlation between two variables, one or both of them are not normally distributed. So another very important thing that we need to remember is uh, the correlation does not mean that uh, the uh, one variable when one variable changes it does not we are not saying that it, it could be the reason but we are not suggesting because it will not be the it will, it will not be always this case um, we are not suggesting that it causes the changes in the other variable uh, so we are going to find out how related these uh, uh, these variables are uh, as a result, uh, you know, we can find out the correlation, uh, correlationship uh, and how they, how, what is the strength of that correlation. Now, uh, uh, now uh, uh, also you need to uh, read the section P2.8 analysis, conclusion and evaluation in chapter P2, that is the practical part. Uh, you will be uh, you will be able to re, uh, go through the videos and see uh, how it is done and that will show you how these correlation coefficients are interpreted now uh, uh, spearman's rank correlation uh, so now let's look at this example an ecologist was studying the composition of vegetation on moorland following a reclamation scheme uh, he observed that a common heather, Kaluna vulgaris and uh, bilberry, Vaccinium uh, myrtillus appeared to be growing together. He assessed the abundance of these two species by recording the percentage cover in 11 quadrants as shown in table 18.10. So they have uh, figured out the percentage cover of a quadrant. Uh, see vulgaris and V. Uh, myrtillus. So 30 to 15, 37 to 23, 15 to 6, 15 to 10, 20 to 11, 9 to 10, 3 to 3, 5 to 1, 10, 5, 25, 17, 35, 30. So as you can see, uh, we need to figure out if there is a relationship between these two. To, if to find out if there is a relationship between the percentage cover of these two species, the first task is to make a null hypothesis that there is no uh, co correlation between the percentage cover of the two species. Uh, then we use the equation to calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So that is Rs, that is uh, uh, Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is equal to 1 minus 6 into sigma d squared uh, divided by n to the power 3 minus n, where n is the number of pairs of items in the sample and D is the difference between each pair of rank measurements and sigma is the sum of. So we draw the scatter graph to see if there is a uh, correlation between the abundance of the two species. Uh, so this can be done using computers in a spreadsheet program and uh, this is not uh, 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 this is not exactly uh, something that you have to do but you have to explain this uh, as, as this will be uh, shown in p2.8 as well so analysis conclusion and evaluation you will have to explain how this can be done so uh, when the process is to be described you can say that using a spreadsheet program what uh, you know we uh, we ob we represent this graphically so uh, when this was uh, graphically uh, calculated uh, the uh, RS value was uh, obtained to be plus 0 0.930. So that is a correlation coefficient of 0 0.930 which is going to be uh, very close to 1 so, uh, represents that it is it has a 
positive correlation uh, between the two species and its strength is very high. So as a result, we can reject the null hypothesis and uh, accept that uh, uh, we call this the alternative hypothesis that there is a positive uh, correlationship between the abundance of C. vulgaris and V. myrtillus on this particular moorland. Right. Uh, I hope you understood. If you if you did not understand, please ask me questions. You will have to uh, do question number 13. Write down a note on this correlation. When trying to figure out if there is a relationship between the distribution and abundance of a species with a biotic factor or an abiotic factor, we can find its correlationship using two theories. Number one, Pearson's linear correlation coefficient. This is a statistical test used to determine if there is a linear correlation between two variables that are normally distributed. Number two, Spearman's rank correlation, a statistical test to determine if there is a correlation between two variables when one or both of them are not normally distributed. In Pearson's linear correlation, quantitative data should have been taken and that data should be distributed normally. When the correlation coefficient is calculated, if it lies on a straight line, we say it has a perfect linear correlation and would have a correlation coefficient of 1. If variable A increases with the variable B, the relationship is a positive linear correlation. If A decreases when B increases, it is a negative linear correlation. A correlation coefficient of 0 would mean there is no correlationship. Um, I would suggest that you draw this figure 18.30. If you understood, please uh, answer the questions. Um, uh, but before that, uh, let's write down the uh, equation to uh, uh, the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. This is not something that you have to buy hard. Uh, this would be uh, provided. Write down the equation to calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is R is equals 1 minus 6 into sigma d squared divided by n to the power 3 minus n. D is the difference between each pair of ranked measurements and sigma is the sum of. I hope you understood. If you did uh, did not understand, please uh, ask me questions. If you uh, did understand, please do question number 13.